I'm Walcom S7, and welcome to the Fuzzy Walrus War Room, where we're going to be taking a look at a loadout that you might be a little bit interested in, because it's field tested and Walcom approved. And that's because I actually ran this loadout at the last pan war, and, uh, well, it worked pretty darn good. This time we're going to be doing things a little bit differently because I'm going to explain all the gear that I have on and why I have it and that will kind of give you an idea of what I look for when I go to a nerf war and then you can kind of use that information to build your own loadout around these kinds of things. This fits my playstyle and everybody's playstyle is going to be a little bit different than mine but I'll explain why I have what, where, and everything like that starting with, well, my battle belt. I say this with sarcastic air quotes because my battle belt is actually just like a framer's tool belt that I got for sale at Home Depot. You can find similar things at places like Harbor Freight for stupidly cheap or even places like Amazon. And the reason I have it is because it's a belt. It holds my pants up, which is the constant problem of fat kids everywhere. But it's got some neat things like this phone holder that I turned into a knife holder right here. And then lots of pouches near my waist where I can hold a wide variety of things. They act as dump bags and everything. And there's even extra spaces for more things if I choose to want to have a different pistol or something. I can easily put it on the belt. No issue whatsoever. It's very versatile and I happen to like it a lot. But the new thing that you might not know about, even though you've seen it, is my chest rig. Which is probably the cheapest AK-47 bag pouch that you can find on... Amazon. I mean, it was like 18 bucks or something like that. It was ridiculously cheap. And I did have to modify it because in the back, the back strap was a little too tight on me. So I did cut it and add some fabric to make it, you know, like clips on and everything like that just fine. But it was way too tight. So to give it a little more room to fit my large frame, and that was all I did to it. It holds magazines perfectly. It can fit two of the 18 round Nerf mags just fine inside them. Right now, what I've got in there is all of my seven round rival magazines because of course I'm using a Hera pistol and I like the seven rounders because they're nice and small and they don't stick up and they're really comfortable to have in the vest. So yeah, obviously. And other than gear, that's pretty much it. Safety glasses are a mask and I'm good to go. But of course I have blasters to go with that. Like, well, <sighs> this is the Boomco Ever After High snow shot blaster or something like that. It's a far shot. It's one of the far shot derivatives there's a lot of them. There's plenty of far shots of the Halo M6 pistol, which I used before this. And then, of course, the plasma pistol. All of those things work great. I just happen to like this one. It's a little bit different because it has that Night Finder style prime, which is very chunky and easy to grab. And I find myself able to reload this thing and shoot it a lot faster than my M6. And it's a lot more accurate. I, I don't know why. It just happens to work really well for me. And I've loved it. I've rocked this thing in pretty much every war. And nobody's going to mess with a man with a pretty sparkly blue icicle pistol and pink and then pearl grips and honestly i think out of all of the far shot blasters i've used this one has been my favorite i find it again really easy to reload and i'm good to go and you got to keep in mind things like this i thought i almost broke that glass for a second these darts hit really hard it's got more range than pretty much anything else I'm going to hit on the field. The only thing that can even keep up are air blasters or like heavily modified long shots with tons of money dumped into them that shoot Steffens. I mean, this is pretty much the go-to thing for me to just pick off people at range. Boom codards are extremely efficient, they're very accurate, and they're kind of my favorite thing to bring to a nerf war, and usually I get most of my darts back. As long as I can find my darts, I get them back because they're not going to get damaged or anything like that. They're soft plastic with rubber tips and they work really well and this is basically my primary because it's the most used blaster most of the time you see me i'm gonna be running this thing but of course i wouldn't get anywhere if i only had a single shot front loader that was pretty slow to reload even if it had good accuracy this thing is good at taking pot shots at people and it's even better at countering people who are rushing forward and that's kind of the position i take usually as a defender or i'll take up a front line next to a tree and i'll just pick people off at range but that's not always going to work because, of course, there are going to be people there who are very fast and there's going to be a lot of them. So, as a supplement, I've got my Hera here. This runs off a 3S LiPo and it's converted into a pistol. And, of course, it's magazine fed with rival rounds, which are another type of ammunition that usually, as long as I can find them, I can get them back. This does destroy darts pretty well. But still, most of the balls will be able to use several times before they're just dead smooth all over. They won't work at all anymore whatsoever. And, well, 
This thing hits really hard, stupidly hard. Uh, we're talking like 130s plus in the FPS range. But the main problem is even though you think this thing would be able to outrange most of my other stuff, it's very inaccurate after a certain uh, point. Anything I would call past mid-range, 50 feet or so, the balls just kind of curve off. It doesn't work very well. And that's the biggest thing I have against this blaster and basically all rifle blasters. While they do have the potential to hit long range, you're not gonna be hitting anything with them unless you just dump an entire magazine, which some blasters are very good at doing. And this one, uh, especially when I'm carrying seven rounders or well, the whole eight rounds pretty effortlessly, I'm probably not going to be able to use anything more than one magazine per person. And this is kind of a backup. So my dump pouch does fit it perfectly. And basically if I'm taking shots with this and somebody like out of darts is rushing me, I have this to fall back on. I can easily whip it out, rattle off a couple of shots and put it away. And if I have to, it's very easy to reload. And then I can rattle off some more shots. And again, I'm good to go. It works really, really well. I'm a big, big fan of the Nerf Rival Hera. And as a pistol, it's pretty darn good. As a full length SMG style kind of rifle, it does work as well. I, I mean, some people like that. I think it was a little too bulky and it's even bulky like this, but it fits back here just perfectly fine. I can run around with it and stuff like that. I do need to put a strap on here or something, some kind of magnetic class, because it does have a tendency to jump out if I'm running a lot. And I do run. I just don't like running very long. It's just my thing, but I mean, you can tell. And then of course, my final last resort, my trusty knife. Now this thing is usually a throwable. I will hurl it at somebody and get them out. Uh, that's usually what this thing does. However, I've gone against little kids and stuff when I don't want to hit them with something as powerful as my Boomco pistol or my Hera at point blank. Usually sneak up on them, poke them with this. They're out. Everybody's happy. Nobody's hurt. And I get to carry a knife, which looks cool. Now, I just kind of explained everything right there. I do have my whole setup of magazines right up front. There's a pouch right here, which holds extra Boomco darts. And because I'm usually using this, I don't burn through many darts. 30 or 40 darts, which isn't even that much, will last me usually an entire round. And if I need more, I can always carry more, have plenty more pouches on me. And this pistol fits comfortably in the front of my gear behind my magazine. So it's usually really easy for me to get to, take a shot off, put it back. If I have to, I can pull up my Hera, take some shots. I can even do a standoff like this if I need to take a shot at somebody with the Boomco pistol and they're still coming towards me. I can finish them off with the Hera. They get past that, I wasn't meant to survive anyway. I got tagged out. I go back to respawn. But it's all a mind game. I mean, I have to cover the things that I'm not very good at. And being agile, I can do, but I can't do it for very long. And I'm a big target. Not only am I Walcom S7, but I'm just fat and big and I'm a threat. So I usually get hit. So I need a way to kind of minimize that. Now, my other role as a support use is a shield and that's all well and good, but lolling a shield around all the time, not fun, not fun all the time at all. So I'm not against using something like this. And well, it kind of fits me the role as like a, I don't really know what you would call it. I'm kind of like a, like a rear guard or something like that. I can easily see the entire battlefield. I can call out targets to people. And then of course I can take shots at them. I can pin people down. And of course I have stuff to rely on and back up. And usually that's what I kind of do in a war. I don't really get to the front lines all that much because everybody else is gonna get there before me, first of all. And I, while I can dodge darts, I can't handle the taking a shot and then running away as fast as I can. And, dealing with three or four people. I'd rather just carefully pick my targets and take them out one on one. And I mean, I'm not a very sneaky guy, so going behind a bunch of people doesn't always work for me, but there are some tools here to mitigate that. And it works well for me. That's the most important thing. I've got my long range covered and I got my close to medium range covered. It works out really, really good. And that's the kind of thing you got to think about when you're doing this kind of war setup. I know a lot of people don't even carry secondaries or primaries even. The reason, the difference between them both, I'll probably do another video on this later, but your primary is just whatever blaster you use the most. The secondary is just a backup blaster. And then of course you have your sidearm, or in my case, my knife, because my pistol is basically my sidearm. But since I'm using the pistol the most often, it's my primary. That's how that works. I mean, I do it in video games all the time as long as the pistols are good, so.
yeah, works out really, really well for me. It's not all that heavy, although it is a bit heavy to wear all this gear. It kind of gets in the way and it's only going to get worse when I finish the Gundam suit. But other than that, that's all I basically run. If I have other loadouts, of course, I'll bring them to you. But for the most part, this is what I'm going to be using for a while because it's just the thing that works the best. Yeah, these are not the only blasters I use, but they're the blasters I'm using right now. And that's you know the point i mean i'm gonna build more stuff in the future and i have other blasters where if i get bored of stuff like this then i'll put these aside and i'll go grab something else well i'll probably put this aside because i happen to carry this with me all the time i mean why wouldn't i it's not very big and of course it packs a punch and it's extremely accurate let me know what you think about my loadout down in the comment section below if you have any ideas on how to improve it i'd love to hear them because there are of course probably holes in my strategy here but i'm Walcom s7 Thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in the entire different one. The, an, entire, the, an entirely different one. There we go. And if you have any ideas on other loadouts, I'd love to hear them down in the comments section. I'm going to go put away all this gear. Jeez.